Good morning, year three. It's Thursday, the 4th of March, and that can mean only one thing. It's World Book Day today. So in that place then, now I haven't aged overnight. Um, I decided to go and have a look around the resources I had at home, um, borrowing, borrowing my children's uh, dressing up things. And uh, I've done a very quick, but hopefully appreciated, uh, gangster granny, one of David Williams' books, dress up here for you today. Couldn't go for the black mask, otherwise I wouldn't be able to see it again. So have I made that mistake once, I'm not going to make it twice. Uh, I'm going to have my little pearls here. No, they're not real at all. They're completely fake dress up for, uh, necklace from one of my daughters. Um, and my background here, look at all those books. Now that's something that I would love to aim towards. Uh, certainly not going to happening for the moment while I have a young family. But it is World Book Day and we're going to celebrate that today by looking at activities we're going to do together and show you those things. Let's go forward. I'm going to get myself out of the way. Okay. So World Book Day then, changing lives through a love of books and shared reading. And I have got two websites here to promote for you today. Uh, the first one then is, uh, they're both from the World Book Day Dot com website. This one is a world of stories. There are so many different audiobooks on there that you can choose to listen to for free. Lovely examples on there. And then this one here, which is online masterclasses. Now, if I take you that to you, take you to that now, there we go. You will see that this is the website and you have got, if we go down, so many different authors. Tom Fletcher there. Dinosaurus books, um, Johnny Duddle, that's the pirate books, um, what have we got here, Catherine Rundle, uh, Robin Stevens, Alex T. Smith, Rob, that's the draw with Rob Man uh, from the YouTube videos, Frank Cottrell Boyce, all these authors, and there's more, all these authors have got um, online masterclasses, so if you tap onto one of those, they will then take you through uh, looking at I, 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 different elements of books with you to have a look at together. So I'm going to leave you to explore that in your own time. Let's go back to here. I'm going to then show you that your World Book Day vouchers that we will be organising um, and your get your voucher code for. Um, these are the books on offer this year. So hopefully you're going to find something that introduce, in, interests you even um, at your level. There's a variety of books here. Football Stories, Little Bad Man, Check the Planet, Sky Steppers, um, Giant Saurus, Dino Spot, another, another version of What the Ladybird Heard. There's a Wolf in Your Book, there's a Tom Fetcher book. There'll be a variety from the here that you'll be able to choose your book for this year. And then the next thing I've got to show you is a message here from Andy Shepherd. Those of us who've been listening along to the boy who, dra who grew dragon story, this is the author. You'll recognise her well by listening to those YouTube clips each day that we have been doing. And she has a World Book Day message for us all. Hello, my name's Andy Shepherd, and I'm the author of the Boy Who Grew Dragon series. And I just wanted to wish you all a very, very happy World Book Day. Now, my stories are all about finding a little bit of magic in our everyday world. And I really hope that you can find a bit of magic too. And one of the best ways of doing that is through stories. So I really encourage you to become story explorers, whether you like books about dragons or about football or about space, whatever it is, go and explore some stories. Now, if you do like dragons, you might like the story I've written about a little boy who grows dragons at the bottom of his granddad's garden on a very special tree called the dragon fruit tree, which is a real tree. Now, Thomas finds out lots of very interesting things about dragons. He finds out they're all very different. He also finds that you need 
a oven glove, a oven glove and a water pistol if you're going to look after dragons because they do have a nasty habit of pooing and their poo explodes everywhere. So if you're going to have a uh, look after dragons, make sure you do have one of those. There's also a lot of magic in a dragon bow. So I'm going to read to you from the very beginning of the fifth book in the series, which is called The Boy Who Sang With Dragons. Here in Grandad's garden, the air crackles with magic. In between the runner beans and raspberry bushes, dragons flit, scales shimmering, eyes glittering, hot breath steaming. I stand, feet rooted in the soil like a plant, growing tall and strong, as tiny dragons settle on my hands, my arms, my head. An orange dragon with silver-tipped wings brushes my face. A turquoise dragon with black spines and a bright yellow tail scratches my palm. An electric blue dragon with threads of silver clings to my back. And when I tilt my head upwards to the stars and close my eyes, I see the shining ruby shape of flicker, huge and bright, like a glowing constellation come to life. Here, in Grandad's garden, I am the dragon whisperer, the dragon protector. Now, I wonder if you had a tree like Thomas, what kind of dragon you might grow. I really hope that you enjoy following the adventures of Thomas and the Superhero Squad and all the dragons that grow on the tree. And I hope you have loads of fun growing your own dragons and also growing your own stories. So have a brilliant World Book Day and remember, let's make every day a story day. Bye for now. Okay, so from that note then, um, I'm going to ask you today, now Andy Shepherd asked you what dragon you would grow, but we already actually have done that in a scenario, we've invented our own dragons, so I'm going to widen it a little bit today, and your task for every day, Andy Shepherd talks about stories being magical, if you had a magical tree, what would you grow, so don't we love a picture of a tree, Put all around it what, what you've grown on your magical tree, whether it's one thing or multiple things. It could be that sort of magical tree. Uh, you decide, you be creative, you enjoy the magic that's in there. Uh, maybe you even could write the story that comes from that. But for today, your task is to draw that picture, draw the, of the, of the tree, draw the things that you grow, and maybe write a little bit of a caption or two that talks about why you would like to grow those particular things. That's your task for today, year three. There are some other tasks this afternoon as well. And I've also got to add that I've also found out that at half past 11, should you be able to fit it into your home learning day, suit your family, um, BBC Teach are doing a live lesson all linked to World Book Day. So if you have the ability to uh, log on uh, to BBC Teach, Google it, you'll find it. Um, and go into the World Book Day live lesson. Uh, that would be great to watch that and be part of that. Considering it being live, that means that everybody's viewing it at the same time across the country to be part of numerous people doing the same thing. Enjoy the day, year three, um, and enjoy the activities that we've put on for you. And hopefully tomorrow I'll be back to normal. Um, I have quite enjoyed being a thanks to Granny for last few minutes maybe the lippy might even stay okay have a great day thank you year three uh sending in your work to us uh that your picture to us through the emails what well are year three thank you very much